Well, the Maritime Museum has been there for many years, but George Floyd brought it back to life, basically, and he was offering these classes, I believe it was two years ago, maybe maybe last year, two years ago, that he was offering these classes to build a Piro. And my dogs love to ride in the kayak, but I could only take one at a time. And I thought this is perfect. This would be the perfect boat to take both my dogs out on the water. And it, it was excellent. It was a wonderful experience. The people were nice and learning how to build the boat. You not only learn how to build it, but then you get to take the boat home and enjoy it. I learned more than, I pretty much knew there was a bow and a stern to the boat, but building this one, you learn all the different parts of the boat, what they do to make the boat float, how to put it together, just um, more about it. And if you live on the water, you want to know about the boat. And I had uh, Ron, the teacher, was excellent at explaining things on how to put it together, what it does, what this piece of wood is for, why it bends like it does. It was very educational, very educational because I was in the first class that they ever had. And so they fine-tuned it a lot to where you can do it a little faster and it doesn't take so much time out. If you're here on vacation, it doesn't take as much time out of your vacation. Um, and it, it's well worth it. Your kids would even involve the kids in building it. They would love it. Um, and then, like I said, then you get to take the boat home with you and enjoy it for years to come, it's built to last. I had some friends, some snowbird friends that are artists, very talented, and I had asked them if they would take an interest in painting the Pyro. And they said, sure. So I went ahead and primed it and put the base color on it, and they came and put uh, big dolphins down the side, like four dolphins on each side. And I, I told them I wanted dolphins, I told them what I wanted. And then I looked at it and I decided to add to it. So I added more dolphins, I put littler dolphins, and then on the inside of the boat, I put, um, like it was a glass bottom boat, I put a design on the bottom of it also, just because it's just the type of boat, the design on it, and uh, seeing that I go out here in the canal and the dolphins have jumped right by the boat. And even with the dogs in the boat, it's, it's so balanced, it, it didn't tip. Two dogs and me, and they're going to get the dolphins, and we didn't tip. It was amazing. But So the painting of the boat was a group effort, really. It, myself and friends of mine contributed to it. I've just, I've gotten a lot of comments on it when I'm out in the water because I go out here in the bay and paddle around and people have come out on their docks and inquired about the boat, where did you get the boat, what kind of boat is it, um, very curious about it because they haven't, I mean you see canoes and you see kayaks but this is a different kind of boat and it's a little heavier, it's very stable, very sturdy. Um, and so I get a lot of comments on it and I enjoy going out in it. I've got a little seat in there and it's comfortable. I've got a pad in the bottom so the dogs can get better traction and it's, I have more room in that boat than I do a kayak and it's fun to go out in it. I enjoy it thoroughly and I use it. I use it all summer and in the winter when the weather allows me because I enjoy it so much and the dogs enjoy it. And you can put three full-size people in this boat and it will hold them and be very safe. It's wonderful.